very interested in calculating the volume of some solids that we are revolving them around x-axis or y-axis. These are basically called solid or revolution. In this lecture, we're going to discuss the disk method helping us to calculate the volume of these types of solids. For example, consider a function that is rotated about x-axis and it creates the following solid for you. In that case, the cross section, the vertical cross section, as you can see, is a circle. The volume, as you remember, is the definite integral of the area of the cross section with respect to x axis as x ranges between a to b. Since the cross section is a circle and we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared, we're going to substitute that just right here. It is equal to pi f of x raised to the second power and then the definite integral from a to b with respect to x. Please pay attention. R is f of x here. So you're basically taking the function and raising it to the second power. You're building r squared inside the definite integral. Multiply that by pi which is basically the area of the cross section. Please pay attention here. The cross section is a circle. The area of the circle is pi r squared, or in this case, pi f of x to the second power. In this example, we have a region that is between the curve y equals to square root of x x is bounded between 0 and 4, and the x-axis is revolved about the x-axis to generate a solid for us. We want to find the volume of that solid. So basically, you have function f of x equals to square root of x, and in this piece of picture, I just showed you how it generates a solid, I just for simplicity, I just use 0 to 1 to show that what this object look like. The function f is square root of x. But for the sake of our example, we're going to use 4. Again, for simplicity, we didn't want to take up too much of a stay space. I just showed you between 0 and 1. This is basically your function. y equals to square root of x. It's bounded by x-axis. X is bounded between 0 and 4, as you can see here. And we're going to rotate this about x-axis. The object, as you can see, is basically here. A cross-section, as it moves, is a circle. Or if you want to take a look at this, this is basically a solid circle or a disk. Now remember the formula. The volume is the definite integral of pi or x to the second power or f of x to the second power, whichever you would like to use. Absolutely fine with respect to x, which is the definite integral of pi square root of x to the second power. This is basically the radius of your circle, solid circle or the disk here. You raise it to the second power, and then you take the integral with respect to x. So rx to the second is square root of x to the second power. This is in terms is pi, definite integral of x dx as x ranges between 0 to 4. Basically, this is pi times x squared divided by 2, x ranges between 0 and 4 which is pi 4 squared divided by 2, or 8 pi. So this is the volume of the solid bounded by the function y equals to square root of x, x bounded between 0 and 4, and you're rotating that about x axis and create this solid or this object as you can see here. 